In 2006, I took a writing course at St. John's College here in Annapolis, Maryland. Laura Oliver, who is here with me, was my writing teacher, and she has be since become a very good friend. I took the writing course in part because I had no confidence uh, in anything, and especially writing. I just feared committing my thoughts to a page, and Laura helped me work through that. I wanted to interview her about that process. It's nice to have an opportunity to talk about writing as a tool for filling the hole in the soul um, or growing the tree, which uh, Therese has talked about before. I found as a creative writing workshop instructor that most people come to my classes not so much because they want to learn to be better writers, but to fill the emptiness inside. They get curious about it. They come to a place where they have to confront it, and on the page seems to be an ideal place to do that. People are able to heal from the inside out when they are able to put their vulnerabilities down on paper, when they're able to confront relationships, cherish relationships, preserve relationships, um, and look at what they fear most um, in the written word. They can then take what they've put down on the page, share it with others, share it um, with groups at large, and take it out into the world. It's writing as a place to practice um, the person you'd like to be, to take a look at the person you have been, and to become a new self and a more authentic and genuine self. We try to fill the hole in the soul from the outside in. We do it with relationships. We do it with hobbies and children and activities and busyness, when in reality there's only one way to fill the hole in the soul, and that is from the inside out. All healing takes place from the inside out. And writing is just a great way to do that. I remember in Laura's course, she brought up jealousy. She said, this is so hard. When you feel jealous towards your friends who are getting published, you feel jealous towards enemies who are getting published. <laughs> you feel jealous towards siblings who are getting published. And I related so much to what she said because I'm, I'm just such a competitive, jealous person. In fact, uh, Mike Leach, my writing mentor, said that that's my least becoming quality. And I wanted to let Laura tell you what she told our class. One of the reasons um, we wanted to talk about jealousy in my workshop is because it is one of the strongest emotions we have. Um, just as strong as anger, and it does seem to be an emotion that disconnects us from ourself more than almost any other. What I've found is the cure for almost any emotional hurt is creativity, and going back to the page as a writer is the one cure for that kind of professional jealousy that, that can eat us up again. Um, I found myself, and I found it true for writing friends, that when you find yourself with those pangs of not I don't want the other person to have enjoyed some success but that kind of envy that says I wish I had that as well when you find yourself hanging out on the limb of those feelings which aren't really you which aren't really um, your true self all you need to do is go back to the page connect with your deepest truest self and become creative again and you'll find that that is the fastest way in which to eliminate those feelings and to be able to be truly joyous for your friend and to share in their success in a meaningful way.